Welcome to Watches and Dreams. Today we are going to do a comparison video again. We are going to be looking at this Tudor Black Bay Chrono against this San Martin SN052GJS. Very similar looking watches. This is a Tudor, this is a San Martin. Really, really causes diverse views whether one of these is a fake or not well one of these is not a fake one of these is a san martin and the ins and outs of is that a fake is that a homage i don't think there really ever is any answers to that but for the benefit of this video we are going to be comparing a tudor black bay chrono against the San Martin watch. So first of all, let's have a look at some obvious differences. If we look at the dial color, this is a very clear snow white color, I would say. And this dial color on the San Martin is a yellowy white color. The dial colors are very different indeed. And as far as the bezel is concerned, I would say the bezel of this Tudor Black Bay Chrono, the numbers and indices are a lot more clear than on the San Martin. The bezel itself on the Tudor is a steel bezel, whereas on the San Martin, it's a ceramic bezel. And there is a real big quality difference in the bezel, to be fair. The Tudor really, really trumps San Martin here. And also, obviously, there is a date on the Tudor. There is not a date on the San Martin. The hour and minute hands, similar looking, and the chronograph dials are also very similar looking. Although I would say that the reflection of the chronograph dials on the San Martin is quite noticeable, whether whilst on the Tudor, it's not. Also, an interesting difference, if you look at the two here, the dial on the Tudor is a lot shallower to the crystal than it is on the San Martin. The San Martin, it's quite deep, actually. So that is a big difference between the two as well. Both do have sapphire crystals. The Tudor is actually a 40 one mil dial. The San Martin is a 40 mil dial, so the San Martin is slightly smaller. And as far as thickness is concerned, the San Martin is also thinner. It's 13 mil thick, and the Tudor is 14.5 mil thick. So the Tudor is actually quite a substantial watch. The San Martin's coming in a lot thinner if you don't want such a thick watch. Now, as far as water resistance is concerned, the Tudor trumps the San Martin again. The Tudor has 200 meters of water resistance, whereas the San Martin has 100. To be fair, 100 is more than sufficient water resistance. There's not too many people watching this video will need 200 meters of water resistance, but it's there if you want it. As far as guarantee is concerned, the Tudor gives five years guarantee and the San Martin gives three years guarantee. Now let's have a look at the price point and obviously there's a massive difference here. The price of the Tudor Black Bay Chrono is approximately 5,000 to 5,200 euros, dollars, pounds, slightly less. And the price for the San Martin is 420 euros, dollars, pounds, slightly less. So the San Martin costs approximately a tenth of what the Tudor costs. So there's a huge, huge uh, difference there in the pricing. Now, a lot of that will be the movement the Tudor has a MT5813 in-house Kosh certified movement. It's an automatic movement, whereas a San Martin has a Seagull ST1901 mechanical movement. It's not an automatic movement. 
So the movements here are very, very different. The movement on the Tudor is far, far superior to the San Martin. Okay, let's have a look at the Tudor here, as far as the chronograph is concerned. Can't really look at them together. Obviously it's got Tudor logo on the screw down crown. Because it has a date window, there's actually two positions on the Tudor. The San Martin does not have a date window, so it doesn't have that feature at all. And the, the screw down crown is quite substantial. It's not hard to move that. The stopwatch here to start it, which is this hand here, and this is to reset it to zero again. So very substantial, very good chronograph functions on the Tudor. And then if we look at the San Martin, this is a push crown. It's not a screw down crown, which is obviously not as good as a screw down. And it only has one position, which is to move the hour. And then it has, let's put that in a smiley position. So we're all nice and happy. And then at the neutral position is the mechanical wind. Because it's not an automatic, this will not charge on your wrist as you're walking around it. So you're constantly going to have to wind this up which means it will be stopping a lot. Now this crown here is a lot smaller than the Tudor and also these buttons are a lot smaller also. They have the same function, but they just feel noticeably smaller. Now obviously I do not have the steel bracelet on my Tudor. Maybe you've seen a recent video, I swapped this for a rubber B-strap, which I'm super, super happy with. So we can't really compare the bracelets, but we'll have a look at the bracelets on the San Martin. The tapered bracelet is very, very nice on the San Martin. It is screwed links as well, which is a nice touch. And then the clasp itself is quite a basic clasp. There's no on the fly adjustment. So there is some adjustment here, but it's not on the fly. And yeah, there's no, there's no half links either. So this might not might be quite difficult to fit for some people for others maybe not but there's not really much adjustment there on the clasp or the bracelet so that is a downside but as far as the h-links here are concerned very very nice bracelet absolutely no complaints at all the big difference here obviously is the price is this san martin comparable to this tudor bearing in mind that very very different price points i did a video on the tudor ranger against the san martin homage and i was really on the price point leaning towards a homage as better value for money here definitely not the tudor is much better quality and much better value for money in my opinion the San Martin here, I don't think really compares. The San Martin at 420 euros, dollars, it's not a cheap watch. And to be honest, I have to go for the Tudor on a direct comparison here, even though the, the Tudor is approximately 10 or 11 times more expensive than the San Martin. However, Looking at the San Martin in isolation, I haven't sized this. It's a nice watch. Would I buy it? Probably not, actually. That's the comparison between the San Martin and the Tudor Black Bay Chrono. Have a great day, guys.